Welcome to the FocDC video series about Audacity, the free cross-platform audio editor. In this episode we take a look at editing audio recordings. Let's first open the recordings we have previously saved in our Audacity project. Looking at the track of voice B, I notice there is noise at the beginning that does not belong to the song. Let's go ahead and delete it. First, I have to select that portion of the track. There are several ways of selecting. In any case, you have to choose the selection tool from the tools toolbar. You can select by keeping your primary mouse button pressed and move over your audio. You can extend your selection and contract it if you need. You can also select across tracks, which is useful since I also want to reduce the silent part at the beginning of voice A. Other ways of selecting are clicking into your track at one position, pressing shift and clicking into the track at another position. In some cases you will want to zoom in to select very small parts of your audio. Here again you have more than one option to do so. Use the zoom tool of the tools toolbar and the icons of the edit toolbar, which can also be used to fit the whole project to your screen. To delete the selected part of my audio, I just press delete. Ctrl plus Z lets me undo the last steps of my work. Ctrl plus Y lets me redo them. Using the time shift tool, I can slide my clips to create free space. In our example, I want the third track, the introduction, to play before the song starts. While the introduction is still playing, I want the music to slowly fade in. There are two ways to produce this effect. I set the cursor to where the song should reach full volume and select from there to the beginning of my clip. I go to Effects and Fade In. Another way to achieve this effect is to use the Envelope tool. This tool allows me to add control points to my clip at any point of the track. Each control point provides four handles to increase or decrease the volume level of my clip at the position of that specific control point. You can combine two tracks to a stereo track. All editing applied to a stereo track is applied to both waveforms. That's exactly what I need now. The command to create a stereo track can be found in the track control panel and affects the track you are taking the command from and the track below it. I set the control points and reduce volume at the beginning. Fine. That's exactly what I want. By the way, you can remove control points by dragging them off the track. To select an entire track, just click into the track control panel. You can move tracks up and down in the order of your project and you can delete them by clicking on the X in the track control panel. If you want to reduce or increase the volume of a whole track, use the volume slider of the track control panel. If you want to highlight one channel in a stereo track, move this slider to the left or to the right. You can split the stereo track in order to edit each clip separately. Depending on how an audio file has been recorded, you can use this function to remove voices from the soundtrack of a song to produce a track of the instrumental sound only. During editing, you may want to mute single tracks or listen to one track only. Use the buttons Mute and Solo to do so. The track control panel also allows you to set the sample format and the rate of your audio file. There are a lot of effects you can apply to selected portions of your track. Let's have a look at just one of them, noise removal, which can be used to remove constant background sounds such as hum or buzz. Luckily, I have some buzz in my recording. I zoom in to a region in the clip which contains only that specific noise. I go to Effect, Noise Removal 
and create a noise profile first. Then I select all audio the noise removal should be applied to. In this case the whole track. I go to this menu again and use the second step to remove all audio identical to the noise profile. I can set several options which is not necessary now and click OK. The success of my operation is visible on the track. Please keep in mind that Audacity ships with a manual that can be accessed through the help section and opens in your web browser. It will help you to use the wealth of features and functions of Audacity. The result of our work up to now is an Audacity project with audio tracks and a set of commands and effects applied to them. Let's not forget to save it. Actually, you should save your work frequently. You can't do much with this project except listen to it with Audacity. If you want your audio to play on a website, an audio device or send it to friends via email, you need to export your work and produce an audio file. How you can do this is subject of the next episode of our video series. Hope you watch that video too. To get more information about the FolkDC project, visit this website. Bye.